Hi, this is Mo from Fresh Milk TV. How are you, everybody? I'm here with Jacquan. Peace, how are you doing? All right. <laughs> All right, I'm here in the store called 360 Toy Group. That's your store? Correct, correct. Okay, so you are um, selling toys. So these are no sex toys. <laughs> what are these toys? Um, it's more of a collectible artist based toys. Um, just kind of. Um, the vinyl rotocast medium but it's more artist based so artist design them okay so what artists um i are they they are from where um basically from all over the world hong kong uh, japan new york england wherever basically like pop art you know exists a lot of graffiti artists as well so the toys are the the idea is born out of the gra graffiti art and mostly they the artists or the idea comes from asia um, the, 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 the idea came from Asia. Um, Asia's been doing this for a while as far as the artist-based toy. America really is more on, you know, Hasbro and more corporate toys. Um, but nowadays, lately, like a lot of artists, especially graffiti artists, have been coming out with their own characters and their own, um, you know, toy influence stuff, either spray cans or markers or the toy influence and pricey. Oh, yeah, they're very pricey. The little ones, like a hundred bucks and stuff, but but why how why why are they so pricey? Like it's because how they um, produce them, or is it just all single pieces, or what is? It? Yeah, it's not it's not really it's not really a thing of um of how they're produced. It's just a plastic toy, but it's just more of the value of the artist and the limited editions, and they're made like in small quantities. And obviously, the more the popular the artist, the the more expensive the toy is. And um, you have the store, you know, how long you have the store? Uh, I've had the store for like four years now, going on five, yeah, yeah. And I'm now making toys as well, designing and producing toys. Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask you. So you design your own toys. So how long are you doing this now for? Four years as well, as, as, yeah, as long as the shop. Um, first toy I designed was my own from my Rock Hard series. And then yeah, I want to see. Let's go over there show me. design it's um just my clothing brand it's called rock hard um and it's the toys i did for that brand and then the second toy that was done was the supreme and then the stissy and then the supreme yes yeah, stissy and supreme exactly the supreme is like a little yeah, it's macho it's just, it's just like an old 70s uh revised figure so do they do something actually like they if you press them or something no, they gotta no. jump around yeah, no, it's just basically kind of like like a statue what is the market like because i think it's not it's like underground too like kind of who is buying yeah, this stuff it's like only a few people who know about it and it's a niche market but it's growing here in america as well um but definitely a niche market people who know either like fashion or music or art it, it you know fuses within those those realms so it, a lot of fan base if they like the artists their fans will buy them or their toy collectors those you know fans will buy them as well it's definitely niche though it's, it's not um Definitely something that everybody can get into. What is this here? These are funny. Um, <laughs> this is a little character. different, yeah. yeah. Kind of character influence, um, 12 inch dolls, Papa Barnes, Jack Nicholson. It's definitely funny. Uh, an animation, animated related characters as opposed to realistic. You go like to Europe with this stuff too or something? You no, want to spread up? Asia. I go to Asia shows in here and, and I do distribute and wholesale to Europe, Paris, London, Germany. Did you go to school like for design? Where did you learn how to make? Did you Do you make them yourself actually? You first probably started off doing them yourself. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but it's just the thing where I just became interested in toys and start learning that way. Just looking at it, taking them apart. And I didn't go to school for any of it. So then you have to make the forms, like how you do that, yeah, like you just sculpt. I, I can sculpt and stuff, yeah. But the toy thing never really came into mind until I started collecting it. Once I started collecting toys, then I just became so fanatical. Like I said, looking at how they're made and taking them apart and putting them together. So it just became a new thing for me. Yeah, you have like um, special forms where you maybe like how you do like for example you do plastic doors, they they're liquid, you, you oh, melt well, we, it and then no, put it use, in forms. We use, um, I use a, a super sculpey, which is a clay that we sculpt out of, and it's baked. It's baked, yeah, it's sculpted, and then that's a prototype, and then from there, everything, once it's, once it's 
um, to be made in, you know, in a vinyl form, hollow and stuff. That's all done in China, in the factories in, in China. Oh, so you send the model over there? Yeah, the yeah, pre-production here and then production and manufacturing in China. You're from New York, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm originally from New York. I was born and raised in the Bronx and now I live in Brooklyn. I'm basically just, you know, whoever designs or creates, just be creative and original and um, just try to come up with new ideas and, and that's the, the way to get noticed. Yeah, definitely. And you definitely have a original ideas, so you're going to be noticed, no, yeah, no doubt. You do, just it doesn't, doesn't matter who you are, as long as you're original, people will recognize right. you. Stay with your style, you know, you're stilo and it's good. Holiday.